Hi guys, this is Desktop Tech Pros. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the Windows 7 boot screen. So, as you can see, I've already changed mine. It comes up like this when I start up Windows. To get uh, the Windows 7 boot uploader updater, you need to uh, go to this website and download this one here. I'll put a link in the description if you don't want to pause and copy and paste. Right, so let's get on. So, um, to change it, you need to click once you load it up, click File, then click Browse Public Boot Skins. Now, make sure that the file that you download is a .bs7 file. When you get here, click on I, I go to the DeviantArt one, but you can go to the other ones. But anyway, it automatically does a search in DeviantArt, and uh, as you can search, they're already up here, so not the Windows 8 one that they've made, which isn't Windows 8, but uh, you can get any animation you want. So I've already downloaded um, the ones I've chosen to show you, so once you've downloaded it, unzip it if it's zipped and uh, just place it somewhere. See, so yeah, it's a .bs7. So is that one? So I click File, Load Boot Skin. Here's my desktop. Click that one. Open it. As you can see, it's different. This one's called a Windows 8 Core Concept. Well, it's not anymore. It's uh, Windows 8 have decided their own boot skin. Anyway, once you've done that, you can change all the text as well. So it's Microsoft Corporation. So I'll change mine to a Desktop Tech Pros. As you can see it's changed there. You can change the uh, font size. You can also change the position so you can make it go down and up like that. Uh, you can change this to anything you want. So I'll put lines uh, warming up engines. I'll play that again. So you can change. You can change it. You can change the background. So I'll change it. Font color to pink. Change the background color to anything you want. So I'll put this green. I'll put that one as green as well. And get the same one. There we go. Unfortunately, if you have an animation, the animation will be in its own box and will have its own background. You can't really change that. Uh, if you change up here to default, it will go back to your default animation. Uh, if you click static image, it will be an image by itself. There, no animation. It's now crashed on me. It hasn't. I'll go down to method and click complete. That will add your own background image. I'll go back to simple. I'll go back to animation. I'll load back the boot skin that I already had. So once you've chosen your uh, boot skin or, or designed your own one or changed the text or anything, click apply or apply it, restart your computer and it should come up with boot skin. Thank you very much, Desktop Tech Bros.